you picture this cube in the desert, okay? I pictured the desert in my cube. <laughs> yeah, what's your name? Leah. Leah, it's nice to meet you. Name? You don't know my name? No, I don't. Why? Because we just met. Because we just met. <laughs> Everyone thinks that I pay actresses to be in this video. You're not a paid actress, are you? No, I'm not a paid actress. Perfect, yeah. I just met all of you guys. We're just chilling in Zilker Park, and mm -hmm. I want to do this cool little exercise with you. So essentially, it's called the cube. Okay. It's actually an old school pickup technique that guys would use to make connections with girls. Although, it, they do it for kind of manipulative reasons. This is like real, real stuff. All right, okay. this is like real stuff. I love talking about the nature of reality and stuff like that. And basically I'm gonna have you imagine this picture and how you imagine it tells me something about you, the deep part of you, how you view the world, how you view, view reality, how you view yourself and other personality traits about you, all right? Okay. Maybe not, I could, we'll see. Okay. We'll, we'll see if it does. Okay. I'm, <laughs> don't be scared. I'll, we'll see if you think it's true or not. We'll see if it's accurate, okay? So essentially, I want you to imagine a landscape Okay, with a desert and a cube in the landscape as well. Okay, so can you imagine that? Mm -hmm. I love it how I imagine if you're getting your closing your eyes and everything perfect. Okay, sweet. What does a cube look like? Um, it's like kind of like a pastel y color. Oh, okay. It's floating a little bit. Oh. Um, kind of like a purpley, silvery. Uh, it almost looks like glass, like the reflection of like light on glass. Oh man, you're giving me goosebumps. This is a really cool cube. Okay, okay awesome. What, what color is it? Is it multiple colors? Yeah. Mm. It's like a, maybe like a kind of ombre-ish. Like okay. Purple silver. Wow. And you're saying, can you see, it's glass, so can you like see through it? Is it transparent or is it opaque? Um, uh, I would say opaque. Okay, okay. But it's made of glass. Interesting. Okay, cool, cool. I love it. And it's in the air. That's really cool. How big is it? Pretty big. Oh, uh, well. Nice. Oh? Is it big? Well, it looks big up close, but you're in a desert. It's relative, so from it is my right. Yeah. Perspective where I'm imagining right now, uh, it, it looks pretty big. Yeah, what is the size of like a rock, a house, a tree? A tree. A tree. Okay, yeah, that's bigger than most people. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And now put a ladder in the picture. What does the ladder look like? How tall is it? It's a wooden ladder. It's as tall as the cube. I've, it's leaning on the cube. Yeah. Does it go above the cube or does it stop slightly. the slightly? Slightly above. Okay. Awesome. Cool. 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 Put some flowers in the picture. As many or as little as you want. Any kind you want. Where the flowers look like and how many? Roses and there's one vase. One vase. A dozen. One vase. Does the vase have all the flowers in it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. Where's the vase? It's sitting on top of the cube. Nice. I like it. Cool, cool, cool. So the cool. ladder goes up to the base. Nice. Awesome. I like it. One last thing. Put a horse in the picture. Okay. The horse. Mm -hmm. What does the horse look like? It's brown with some white spots. It's pretty small and it's on the ground. Nice. Is it tied up or is it like a wild free horse? It's free. Nice. Now describe the horse's personality in three words. Reserved. Oh. Uh, what kind of horse is this? Uh, adventurous. Yeah. And um, calm. Okay. Awesome. And by the way, yeah, you guys do this too. Well, yeah, you guys have been, right? Awesome. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> awesome. You're, you might have to remind me about those adjectives, okay. but yeah, do you want to know what all this means? Yeah, I'd love to. Cool. So it actually doesn't mean anything. I just made it up as a joke. Perfect. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I saw your face like sunk. No, this there's meaning in the world. Okay, I promise you. Okay, this 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 means something. Okay, or not. We'll see. We'll see if it's accurate or not. Okay, so essentially the cube is your sense of self, and I want you to remember what each one of these things means. Okay, because I'm going to tell you my cube after this. Okay. okay. So the entire landscape is your perspective on reality. The cube is your ego. Okay, it's your sense of self. Right? Have you heard of the ego before in meditative, and you know yeah, the meditative community and stuff? I try and remove the ego from things right. that happens. So I love it. I love it. Okay. Looking at good perspective. No, that's good. Mm -hmm. Right. So the cube represents that ego. Here's the cool thing. Your cube is in the air, which means you're a creative person. You're an open-minded person. You're 
yeah, you like to use your creative mind. You like to use the right side of your brain. If it's on the ground, it's a very logical, practical, mathematics type person. You know what I mean? So that's awesome. Yeah, the cute. Uh, I love it. That's good. That's perfect for this video. Okay. Now, the cube. Your cube was. It was fairly big, right? Mm -hmm. Relatively, mm -hmm. right? So, it, bigger than most cubes that I have heard of. So that means that you're a pretty confident person. You're pretty confident with yourself. But of course, in the grand scheme of the desert, you could have made that cube so much bigger. You know what I mean? So you definitely haven't reached the peak of your self-confidence. There's definitely some insecurities holding you back, you know, still. But of course, that's normal. And the cube, I loved how you painted all different colors, okay? So your personality isn't some set in stone phenomenon, right? It's kind of fluid, right? You have different personalities depending on the situation, depending on who you're hanging out with, stuff like that. Yeah, you like this? I love yeah, it. Absolutely. And so, yeah. And also be aware that this is your sense of self. So you see yourself as this thing in the universe and the universe is kind of external to you, right? You see yourself in the universe kind of viewing everything else externally because realize this, the cube can be so dramatically different than you could ever imagine. And you'll see that when I tell you my cube. But for example, you didn't put anything inside the cube, right? So you see yourself as this inner mind and the rest of reality as this external phenomenon, okay? And you might be saying, well, yeah, duh, right? But just wait, because there are different perspectives, right? So the latter represents your goals and ambitions in life, right? It's cool, you put your ladder actually above the cube, which tells me that relative to your upbringing, you want to do a little better. You know, you want to succeed a little more than your family has in the past, you know what I mean? And so that's, that's cool. The flowers represent your friends. So you put the flowers all in a vase, which was really interesting. You really value these close friendships rather than just a bunch of flowers everywhere, right? Friends that don't really mean anything, just acquaintances. So instead of valuing being very, very popular, you value these really close, intimate relationships, right? Hell yeah. The horse represents your ideal partner. I'm guessing, is your ideal partner a dude? Maybe? Yes. That's my psychic intuition there. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so it represents your ideal man, okay? So your horse, what were these adjectives? I know you said... Calm, reserved, and adventurous. Yeah, so you want an adventurous guy. Probably very true. And I, I'm, I'm guessing you might have dated some like, maybe some narcissistic guys that are a little too cocky in the past, right? <laughs> I bet, that's why you kind of want a more reserved guy. You want a very like humble guy. You know, not a guy that is humble because he's confident. All this narcissistic, it's actually like this fake confidence, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's, that's the- very interesting. I'd say all of that's very true. Was that pretty accurate? Because mm -hmm. awesome. I've always told myself like with the, um, you said fluidity with yeah. people and different personalities. I've always like said I want to kind of be the jack of all trades so that yeah. I can be able to relate like, to everyone. In I love some it. Some form of capacity. That's awesome. So many people are stuck in this sturdy personality. They are only seeing reality from one perspective when there are infinite amounts of perspectives, right? And so that's cool. You seem like a very conscious, open-minded person. I love it. Okay. So you want to hear my cube? Yeah. Are you sure? It could be. It could be kind of scary. That's okay? okay. Don't let it blow your mind too much, or do. So, when you picture the cube, you saw this cube. Oh, what's that? What's that noise? Oh wow! We have someone preaching God over there. Wow, this is really interesting. I love it. Okay. Wow. My idea of God is a little different. We might get to that, but essentially. You picture this cube in the desert, okay? I picture the desert in my cube, right? Yeah. So my cube is an infinite, amorphous, invisible cube. It doesn't even have any properties. That's the only property that it has is that it has no properties. So you can think of it just as nothingness but it's a nothingness that exists okay so that's my cube and it extends on to infinity okay and it contains everything so it contains the desert all right not only that it actually contains the entire universe but we're just gonna say that 
it contains the entire world. Because the universe is very hard to conceptualize. We're just going to say that this cube contains planet Earth. Okay? So, this is my sense of self, right? I don't see myself as the... Yeah, so I don't, I don't see myself as this finite thing that's looking out at the universe. I don't see the difference between internal and external. Everything is me. It's a radically different sense of self. Right. Yeah. So, right, instead of me looking out at the world, I am the world that's focusing on this avatar. So the cube that you imagined is a body-mind, right? It's the mind and body that most people think that they are, right? The cube that I imagined is consciousness itself. It's infinite intelligence. You could call it God, <laughs> right? And you can actually realize that you are that cube as well. It's not that you're wrong that you're thinking that you're this finite little cube in the desert, right? Because think about this. My cube encompasses everything, okay? Which means it also encompasses your cube. See, there's actually no difference between me and you. We're just viewing the universe from different perspectives. Essentially what we are is God kind of looking through different windows, but it's all the same person, all the same being. Not the same person, the same being, right? So everything, is me. Everything is in the cube. Okay? And this is what you can actually find through meditation is that you can disidentify with this body mind and actually become everything. Or essentially you know how your sense of self feels more fluid than most people, right? What if that sense of self, that fluidity was infinite? Okay? So not only can I be me, I can kind of become you. I can become anything. Right? This might be a kind of a woo concept to think about. But yeah, not only is your cube within my cube, my old cube is within my new cube, <laughs> right? So I can actually switch between kind of the old perspective where I'm this body mind looking out of the world and the new perspective where I'm literally the world looking at this avatar. Think about this, when you're in a dream, right? You're creating the entire dream with your mind, but you don't know how, but you know that you're doing it with your mind. Reality is really no different. You're actually creating all this. You just don't know how you're doing it. Exactly. It's, it's what you make it. It's what you, the energy you put out. Exactly. So my ladder, let's get into the what is inside my cube. The ladder, okay? It's not just any ladder. It's a ladder that goes infinitely up into infinity, but also deep within the ground, deep into the pits of hell. Here's the thing. that The ladder is actually a strange loop. So the strange loop is this weird hierarchical, hierarchical structure where A is greater than B is greater than C is greater than A. So it's this weird hierarchical structure that loops around on itself. So the ladder goes up into infinity, actually loops around and comes back up from negative infinity. And so it's this loopy ladder. Okay, you'll start to realize that my goals are so grandiose. I actually want to change the world with this stuff, right? But the ladder is actually the same. The negative ladder is all my failures but you'll find that they're one and the same you can't know what success is without failure it would literally be impossible to conceptualize right it's the same thing with heaven and hell you wouldn't know what heaven is if you didn't have this concept and this contextualization of hell and this helps you really understand the perfection of reality and why there's evil in the world because you literally could not understand what good is if there wasn't evil right now, my flowers, I didn't just imagine some flowers. I imagined the entire rainforest, the Amazon rainforest. I imagined every tree in existence, just this beautiful landscape of, of nature, right? You see, because I see everyone as not only my friend, but as myself, even my, my enemy. You can't know what a friend is without having an enemy. And your enemies test you. They bring you adversity and they help you to grow. So essentially, all enemies actually are your friend. Everything that's going on in this universe is absolute perfection. The horse. <laughs> I didn't just see a horse. I essentially saw the entire Noah's Ark, right? You know, I just didn't want to make, I just don't want to make connections with one person. I want to connect with everyone. Everyone just has 
these unique souls about them. And it's incredible to see other people's perspective and it really helps you grow. So as you can see, <laughs> my cube is like, yeah, it's the entire universe itself. And it's a pretty radical cube, but notice how all these different cubes of all these different people, everyone would have a different cube, right? Everyone would describe this cube in a different way. Everyone has different perspectives on reality and they're all true, but they're all inside the grand cube. So these are all these little perspectives of reality in which the large perspective of reality, this infinite intelligence, this infinite consciousness is examining, right? And so it's, it's a pretty radical concept, but um, yeah, that's my cube. What did you, what did you think about that? Amazing. Um, I really like everything that you said. I think that's kind of why I like to be fluid with my relationships as well, because I've always found it very interesting where other yeah. people come from and what makes them who they are. Yeah. Because you can always learn something. Exactly. Everyone. This is the no cool thing. You, yeah. You are not, it's still really cool and it's knowledge that you can use for the benefit of yourself. Of course. This is the thing. People have to realize that the truth is dynamic. Really, all truth is relative. Everyone thinks that they're the hero in their own mind, you know? And your perspective isn't necessarily a true perspective. It's just true to you. You know, what I say is the only false perspective is the perspective that you think that your perspective is the only true perspective, right? And so there are all these different perspectives of reality to have. And the real liberation comes when you realize the fluidity behind it, that you aren't just this perspective, that you aren't just this sense of self that you think that you are, that there's a whole vast, a array of, of magic in this universe that you can uncover. You just have to be open-minded to the fact that you might not know the magic behind reality. And once you realize that, the magic starts pouring in. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I'm trying to, to show people because don't trust me. This is something that you can, if you trust me, it's just like another religion. This is something that you can actually verify through direct experience. You like meditation and yoga and stuff like that. And so I actually created this kind of yoga because as you know, meditation can be boring. I've created this type of yoga that you can do with a partner that really helps you be in the present moment and helps you be aware and not lose concentration as much. Although in meditation, losing concentration isn't bad. It's actually the victory when it's you like recognize, it. yeah. it's when you recognize that you've lost the concentration. But regardless, you know, the more you can stay aware, uh, the better. So do you want to try out this yeah, yoga real so quick? Down, yeah. Yeah, are you down? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. I, I love it. You're, I, I love how excited you are about this. This is really cool. You know, it's, it's so interesting. People have so many different perspectives. You talk to some one person that is very like unconscious about this type of stuff. Mm -hmm. They'll completely disregard it and seeing it is like complete, you know, it, this is what, this is complete bullshit, you know? So it's cool to have you so interested in it. So essentially we can start out with this thing called rainbow breathing. I'll breathe out while you breathe in and then vice versa. So I'll breathe out while you breathe in and you breathe out while I breathe in. Our energies kind of become one, right? And instead of just focusing on your breath, we're focusing on like the one breath and it's much easier to become aware. Interesting. Yeah, cool. it's interesting, right? Okay. And so I think you'll be able to do it, really, do it really well. And at the same time, this might be a little uncomfortable, but that's part of the practice. It actually cures social anxiety when you do this enough, is soul gazing into the left eye. The left eye is controlled by the right brain. Right? right? Remember how the right brain is responsible for your creativity and actually like spiritual awakening. The left brain is your analytical mind, you know? So right. you want to get into the right brain. And so we'll be doing that breathing while I'm looking into your left eye. Okay. Is that cool? And I'll look into yours. Yeah, okay. exactly. My left eye. And we'll be doing the breathing, okay? So ideally we do this in what's called the yab yum position. You know, so uh, Prima Sati Yoga is kind of a combination of Tantra, Kundalini, and like Pranayama, breathing yoga. And the yab yum position comes from Tantra. So essentially I'd be like this and then you'd be in my lap. That's cool. And then we'd be breathing while looking into each other's left eye. Okay. Down? Okay, sure. awesome. Cool, I love how open-minded you are. You're sick. Yeah, I'm wake that up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, time to wake up. Okay, Hell yeah. so should I just put my legs on either side? Yeah, yeah, and you're gonna wrap them around. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're good. <laughs> it's totally good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome, cool, cool, cool. So. Basically, yeah, I'm gonna have my one hand, yeah, wrap, wrap them around. I'm gonna have, yeah, scoot up a little bit. <laughs> Perfect. I'm gonna have um, my right hand on your heart chakra and my left hand on like your sacral chakra. Okay. So I'm gonna breathe out to start and then you breathe in. Okay. Okay, and then vice versa. We'll look okay. into each other's left eye. Okay, ready? Three, two, one.
I love it. You're really good at that. Most really? people, most people, yeah, hell yeah. Most people can't, <laughs> most people can't just do it, you know? They'll lose concentration or they really struggle looking at someone's like soul like that, you know? What this can do, it can really increase that fluidity of, of perspectives, right? It can kind of erase the illusion of self and other when you do this for long enough. Which it's is really cool. Yeah, it's That's really, really, nice. it's awesome. The longer you do that, the more relaxed that you'll be and you'll kind of feel the energies coming together and becoming one. And it, it's really, really cool. It's centering, very centering. Yeah, it's just cool. wait, when you do this for a long period of time, it can be incredible. And there's this breathing, ex breathing exercise we can do that actually let's do them, okay? We'll just do, we're gonna do 20 really, really deep breaths and we'll breathe in at the same time actually. Okay. And on the 20th breath, we'll do a breath hold, okay? okay. So on the 20th, do I stay in your lap? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Do you want to? Sure. <laughs> so on the 20th breath, we'll breathe in deeply. Okay. And then hold. Okay. okay? So while looking to, I'll tell you when the 20th breath is. Okay, I'll tell thank you. Thank you. I was like, yeah. do I need yeah. to count? No, you're good. Okay. So as deep as you can. All right. Okay. Really feel, really feel your lungs expand. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Thank you so much. <laughs> you are a very conscious individual. I love it. It's so cool. I feel like we had an awesome connection going. You stared into my soul harder than like anyone stared into my soul. It's it's dope. You have very uh, beautiful eyes. And you, Thank you. Yeah. Pupils are very dilated too. It might just be because it's dark out though. Who knows? But um. Science. Yeah. So I definitely would be down to do some more Primasadi yoga with you. It can get very very more powerful and mm -hmm. deeper. Yeah. Absolutely. I'd love to. Awesome, hell yeah. Is it cool if I get your number? Mm -hmm. Sweet. For sure. So let me grab it real quick. Yeah, and we can get out of this yabby on position. My legs are like falling asleep. No, I was cold and warm, but it was nice. Yeah, that was really nice. So yeah, what do you think about that whole experience? I loved it. I thought it was very uh, eye-opening. It was nice and expected. Yeah, it speaks, like, it's, it speaks to you on a much deeper level than most conversations do. Which is what I look for in yeah. conversations. I love it. Stars. I love it.